So we're, we're looking at the problem of food subsidy design and we're doing an experiment in India. I'm, I'm fascinated by this welfare improvement problem of the poor, of the, of the ones who are living in the most underprivileged communities of the world. But I think this is a, this is a slightly broad term. So my particular research strategy research focuses on, in, in, in some sense, combining a business perspective and the perspective of those who are studying their lives and try to see pathways to improve the efficiency of the goods and services that they are aiming to alleviate poverty. There are a few things uh, about the malnutrition uh, challenge um, in the world that, that we're building on top. So I think one assumption that we should talk about is, is, on, uh, is on the fact that we always think, I was thinking before starting this research, we were thinking malnutrition is a, you know, a mere repercussion of poverty. You know, people simply don't have enough money to afford food. And if this assumption is the only reason that malnutrition persists, then perhaps we shouldn't put too much focus on the malnutrition problem, because if we solve the economic development problem, malnutrition problem will automatically be resolved. But this has not been the case. And it's, it's called uh, a very interesting phenomenon called South Asian enigma. It is on child health. Um, and what, what researchers have been shown is Taking Africa as a benchmark, in the last 50 years, South Asia economies is rapidly improving. But this comparatively improvement, economic improvement, had not equally translated itself into nutritional outcome. Changing habits is very difficult. But we, we put a very special emphasis on this uh, because that's how we, we try to, to model like not change anything that people consume, keeping the store shelf, not changing the store shelf but try to do some price-based incentive in order to switch from something that they are used to into something else that they're used to. <music> Trying to understand the shopping behavior, the grocery shopping behavior or the, on the food choices in these impoverished communities. And we try to de design an algorithm that answers a very simple question, which products we should subsidize and by how much we should discount in order to more, most efficiently and effectively improve nutrition in these communities. What, what our algorithm does is in, in sort of simple terms is that um, give me your budget per person, how much you want to spend for one of your um, below poverty line citizens and tell me about your nutrition problem. Like what is the thing that you want to improve? Is it calcium, is it protein, is it, um, is it calorie? Our end goal is to create a decision support tool that helps policy providers use in these environments. So it is not that only doctors or medical professions should address this biological or medical problem, but there are also things that businesses or, or policy providers can and should do to help improving um, this challenge. Coming from business background, I think we're the ones who study and who's very interested in understanding their consumers' uh, dynamics, their shopping behavior. So uh, we're, we're very motivated to, you know, bring some insights from what we know into this area where this sort of questions are, are less of a concern, at least from the policy provider side.